The passing of Her Majesty the Queen is a moment of profound importance for the nation, the Commonwealth and the Army. We've lost our longest serving Commander-in-Chief and this country's most dedicated servant. Queen Elizabeth II personified duty. Her steadfast devotion to service was the living embodiment of what it means to sacrifice yourself for the good of others. She was, of course, a soldier herself and an exceptional leader. She served in the Auxiliary Territorial Service during the Second World War, and today's soldiers can learn a great deal from her. She was resolute and unshakable in her duty and dedicated to those she served. As the Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Colonel-in-Chief of so many of our regiments and corps, she showed unwavering devotion to her army and her remarkable care and commitment to our families. She was the Army's mother and commanded unique respect through her wisdom, compassion an unimpeachable example. As a small symbol of gratitude and appreciation for her lifelong support to us, the Army gave Her Majesty a walking stick to support her during her Platinum Jubilee weekend. Those final weeks and days of her reign captured the essence and spirit of our Queen. She served to the very end. Her Majesty stewarded this country through seven decades of tumult and turmoil. She was served by 24 Chiefs of the General Staff, and was a rare and reassuring constant who leaves an enormous hole in the nation and the army. As today's Chief of the General Staff, I am deeply grateful for her mentorship and on behalf of the army, I salute our former sovereign and offer the army's deepest condolences to the royal family. God save the King.